All right, get your shoes on. We're going, we're going, we're going goodwilling. And we're gonna have so much fun. And then when we get back here, I'm gonna to talk to you. And you know I love talking to you. So, if you're new here, I'm June Bug. Nice to meet you. I love to go thrifting. I love my family, I love the Lord. I'm a nurse. I just like to have fun. And so if that's something that you like to do, we'll just stick around. We'll do life together and we'll just have the best time. Um, and I love you. I just love everybody. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Let's go. So already when I walked in, I found this. And I thought it was so cute, that china hutch. I would redo it and paint that sucker white and just put the prettiest little dishes all over it. What would you do? And just so you guys know, I got it mixed up. I am actually in Carm today. So these are actually selling for, I don't know, a lot, a lot more than um, what they're priced here, but I still feel like they're just a little bit overpriced. I believe it was $14.99 if I'm not mistaken. I can't, I need my glasses on guys. <laughs> Colanders are super cute to decorate with.
And y'all know, I love looking at all these books and all the Bibles and just everything. Here in just a second, you'll see a little puppy dog Bible that I thought was so cute. So what did you say? Did you say something you liked? There's all kinds of things that I just love. But I'm trying to save money. If you've been around here, you know I try to save money. But anyways, there was, um, yesterday was Easter. And uh, I just want to talk to you about something that just um, just came to me. I know it was the Lord. Um, but we were singing a song. Uh, and I can't remember what it was. I cannot remember. But one word stuck out to me, and it was desperate. And um, it just made me think about how I was so desperate um, to know Jesus. Because there was a time in my life when I didn't know him. I had grew up in church my whole life, but there wasn't that solid foundation of my salvation until I was 27 years old. And I just wanted to share with you a story in the Bible that um, made me think of it. And then um, I'll just, we'll just talk about it. We'll just talk about it. So this, and look, I got my act together. I already got it. Sometimes I have to dig for what I'm trying to find. I keep looking at my window because I think there's a a bee's nest over there, and it scared me to death. Um, but this is about a woman who needed healing, and, I, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over some key points that really speak to my heart. And if they speak to you, they speak to you. But anyways, um, just pay close attention and just, just listen, just listen. So you can find this in Mark chapter five. And we're going to start in verse 24. And I'm going to talk to you guys like I talk to my talk to my kids. Because I just, I'm just going to. And if you don't like it, and if you don't like it, that's fine. But this is what I think helps my kids and it helps me. I'm a visual learner. And um, I'm a visual learner and i got to get my hands on it. So, here we go. Mark chapter 5, starting in verse number 24. So Jesus went with him, and a large crowd was following and oppressing and pressing against him. A woman suffering from bleeding for twelve years had endured much under many doctors. She had spent everything she had and was not helped at all. On the contrary, she became worse. Having heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his robe. For she said, If I can just touch his robes, I'll be made well. Instantly, her flow of blood ceased, and she sensed in her body that she was cured of her affliction. At once, Jesus realized in himself that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd, and he said, Who touched my robes? His disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing against you, and you say, Who touched me? So he was looking around to see who had done this. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came with fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. Daughter, he said to her, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be free from your affliction. That's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. And it's true. This is everything you read in the Bible. It is nothing but truth. Whether you like it or not, it's true. Um, I love that. And I wrote down some key some key things that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, first, whenever I talk to my boys about this story, I always, I just say, all right, I want you to close your eyes. And they'll close their little eyes. And I say, I want you to picture that you are walking down this road and you can't even move your arm or something because you there are just people right on top of you, just on top of you, and they're grabbing at you, and uh, you just can't move. And miles that you can see, there's just so many people, and they close their little eyes, and they picture that. And um, and I said, and I want you um, to just keep thinking that. So once you, once you have that in your head, think of this. Think of this woman. This woman... I've got my notes. I said, this woman, she had been sick for 12 years. 
she was bleeding for 12 years. She had seen so many doctors. Um, she spent everything she had and she still got no better, only worse. But this woman heard about Jesus. And this is when faith just takes hold of you. But I'm gonna cry. This woman heard about Jesus. And she knew, if I just touch his robes, I'm gonna be healed. What faith that woman had. She just knew in her heart that Jesus could heal her. So this woman, in des she was desperate. She was desperate for healing. I can just, and the Chosen, it had it on one of their, um, one of their little shows not too long ago. But when I think of it, I think of, you know, there was this huge crowd and this woman, sick as she was. Can you imagine? I mean, we, we go through so many things in our life and we are desperate for healing. And this woman fought to get through just to touch. She said, if I just touch Jesus, just the little robe, I'm going to be healed. And Jesus having all these people coming and just nagging at him, this little woman with faith shook Jesus. I just love that because um, it just, it's faith. Faith heals us. And you know, sometimes Jesus says no during, um, during some times when we go through things. He has told me no before and I hurt my feelings. Um, but it was only for my good. And I know that my father in heaven looks out for me and he loves me. And um, I will say sometimes, and I've heard this, sometimes the Lord will heal us here on earth or he will heal us in heaven. And no matter what, it's going to be okay. Um, one thing that the Lord said to this woman was, he said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be free from your affliction. I'm the daughter. You know, I, I remember being held up in depression and anxiety and thinking, oh, it's just never gonna get any better. But I sat over there at my kitchen table one day and I read those little words, little girl get up in Mark 5, 41. And right then, the Lord healed me. I'm so thankful for that. So if you're going through hard times and you don't know where to go and you're desperate, just call upon the name of Jesus and he will hear you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you in the mess you're in and he's going to be there for you. If you don't know what to do, just call on his name. Just call on his name. I did and it was the best thing I've ever done in my whole life and I'm so thankful for that. So I'm going to just end that there. Know that I love hymns. I'm praying for hymns. Hymns are so good to me. So, so good to me. And it's it's just so fun to hear from you and just to um, hear all the things that you're up to. And I love it when you guys follow me on Instagram because then I get to you get to see all your pictures <laughs> and what you're doing. It's just, it's so good. But I have to get to work or I'm going to be late and my boss is going to wring my neck. So I love you. I love you. Everyone have the best day. And you remember, you keep your faith. You keep your faith. The Bible has all kinds of stories and testimonies of, of people of faith. You can start. Read Hebrews 11. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Yes. Hebrews 11. That is where it's talking about the heroes of faith. Get in your Bible today. Read it. Read it. Read it. That's and, and ask the Lord to speak to your heart. And He will. He loves you. He loves you so much. He died for you. Mm. He saved my soul. Mm. I couldn't imagine a life without Him. I don't want to. I really don't. Okay, y'all. Woo! All right. I love you. You have to go have a good day. Okay. And here are some Easter pictures. There's Mr. Finn. Jax. And here's both of them, Jackson Finn. And then here's me and Finn, little sweet things. And me and Jax. I love them to pieces. They are so sweet. And here's one of all of us in our Sunday best. And last but not least, 
Oh, Big Daddy, y'all have a great week. I love yuns. Oh, one more. Here's Big Daddy and the boys. Y'all have a good week. Bye.